Hello everyone, I'm Kat, and I just want to show you a quick update on my garden. I know that looks pretty sad, but I've got some um, spinach is still in it because it's sort of in the shade. Um, the spinach looks okay. I've got some strawberries in there. This was just a piece of a tomato plant I was trying to root, which I know it's probably not going to happen, but um, strawberries. These are some plants that I still haven't gotten out, but hopefully, well, and then there's some of mine. I just watered them. Uh, my planter plants, I watered them yesterday. It's just they're in a tiny little pot, so I need to probably put them in a little bit more shade. Here's my green stock planter. My cilantro has bolted. It happens, it's summer. We've had 90 plus days some uh, zucchinis that are kind of struggling a bit my broccoli that's done for I just got a little bit of broccoli I need to place it in more shade whenever I make it or whenever I grow it next time okay my tomato plants these are some concrete reinforcing wire that I'd gotten a very long time ago and now has doubled in price per roll but I want you to look at this is that not awesome? Look at those tomatoes. Some more tomatoes. Getting more stuff. Here's some cherry tomatoes. So exciting. Now most of these, even though I took great care when I grew from seed, um, some of these are not from seed that I, I grew, I got the plants, but, um, the ones that I grew from seed, whenever I planted them in, I had the names written on the cups, but the cups got erased on, even though it was Sharpie, and then the ones that did have still the name got mixed up, so I'll have to wait until I see them grow. I think that might be a black cherry. I'm not quite sure, but it's either sun gold or a black cherry or something like that. Uh -huh. Got the bee pollinators happening. Wrong bees. Well, I should say wasp pollinators. And then this is a a yellow pear. My husband likes yellow pears. Here's a black prince with some little tomatoes on it. Let me see if I can get in a little bit better. I think I have like 19, there's 19 on this row, 20, 21, 22 in ground right now. I'm hoping to get the rest of them in this weekend. I'll be off some, so, yep, there's my Catmobile. <laughs> Got to get in inspected. Anyway, here is my grow bags with my, these are full juice peppers these are just a mix of hot peppers two of them are jalapenos let's see this is a jalapeno and then the small one beside is a jalapeno then I can't remember Anaheim's or something like that here's some carrots and some dill dill's getting a little overheated now this is an odd one this is my onion corn not really sure what's going on with this I planted onion onions and it split and now it looks like corn stalks three of them from an onion where to say I'm leaving it just to see then I have one that's in you know this is my first year doing this so Let's see if I can get the seeds there it's not wanting to focus anyway interesting now I'm not really sure which ones of which oh yeah this we just put this up yesterday there's gonna be two more of them uh, I'll move the grow bags to to where they go I saw this on Roots and Refuge and then on um, Acre Homestead and so 
got those going, got the stuff, and then yesterday. So I'm going to start training these up. What are these? I can't remember which one was in which plant. Oh, look. One's trying to go. One's time to go to it. Go to it, baby. These are calendulas in with the seeds. And then here's some more. We'll roll the bag around. Anyway, and then there's some more. Those are going to be big. Um, and I'll show the next time the seeds that I used. But anyway, those are big squashes. And I'm hoping to get at least a couple of them. They should be massive. And I'm dedicating this whole area to those to those squash vines calendulas and then here's some other random seeds and stuff going up i've got to rewater i blew up my water hose y'all i feel so stupid i accidentally left the water on and closed off the the sprayer blew up my new hose so since I'm not made for money, I have to wait. And I'm going to be hand watering with my little two-gallon bucket that's out there. Um, with all of these. So, I'm going to have some cantaloupes, some crimson sweet watermelon, um, some little cantaloupes that I got from Baker Farm, which is like a hand, they grow in your hand, they're the size of a hand. I've got some butternut squash, only it's the small individual butternut squash that's going to go. Um, so I've got some winter squash, which is the, um, let's see, so I've got butternut squash and I've got, oh goodness gracious, spaghetti squash. I had to sit and think, I've never had spaghetti squash, so why shouldn't I just grow it and see if I like it or not? But these are the times to practice. And I'm pretty certain my daughter loves it, so none of this goes to waste, even if it's if it's not perfectly exact what we want. But I'm excited about the honey nut squash, the baby butternut squash, and um, to, to make some butternut squash soup and things like that. That's going to be exciting. Anyway, two more rolls of this. And no, we're not engineers. We had all of 20 minutes to put it together, so we did good for 20 minutes. And then two more of those will be down there. That'll be my... I kind of think that'll be cool because because it's going to get 100 plus temps. And walking in underneath that shaded area is going to be just bliss. Anyway, looking from this other view. Oh yeah, my um, cantaloupes, I mean my cucumbers are over against the fence. Just the small little fence over there. And so there's that. And there's my green stalks in my back porch. Okay, I want to thank everybody for watching. Bye.